Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm finally doing a Ibis paint tutorial and this one is going to be so so I'm just updating my very old mannequin tutorial on my channel and this one is going to be easier than it the last one was because it was more like full body but I just want to show you that you can also do it from like the neck up because the main thing of a mannequin is the head right so yeah and as you can see here I was trying to do the whole semi-real wig look on Ibis paint you know when I did it on Procreate some of you asked for me to do it on Ibis so I've just been practicing before I actually record it right now it's not that good because I told you smudging on Ibis is not that great and I was trying to fix the ends and then do some edges with the brushes and ibis paint and i'm still working on it so yeah it's not looking that good right now but anyways let's get into what the actual tutorial is today which is the mannequin i'm gonna show you how you can get it like this super easy it'll literally take you like two minutes so i've noticed people from my ibis paint videos comment that they don't know how to bring pictures in and it's this camera icon like i really felt like it was obvious and i assume people knew that already when they watch my videos so that's why i don't always say how to do it because i've done it a few times before Just in case you are one of those people that's how you do it so to show you how i got this done i'm just going to bring a random picture of my avatar your mannequin doesn't have to be in a straight angle it but it, it only has to be if your wig you're doing is straightforward if you are someone that does side angle wigs as well then you take a side angle picture of your avatar i'm just using the same picture that you saw before and going to make it bigger i'm gonna make the other one invisible so you're just gonna create a new layer and make that layer a clipping mask and then just color pick your avatar can be any color and then on that layer i actually thought i had it in my customs but not really so it's just the dip pen soft brush that you're gonna use um color all over your avatar on procreate i would just drop in the color that's what i was trying to do with the bucket tool so yeah that's literally what you would do and then i have two tutorials doing it like halfway like halfway here but I'm just doing the neck up like I said. So now you're just going to erase the other parts of your avatar. And I also recommend that you fix the head shape a little bit. I know mine looks kind of odd, but yeah, just fix it. If it looks big, then yeah, just cut it off a little bit because my avatar's head is always really big when she's bald and yeah that's literally it looks exactly like this one right here so now let's move on to actually painting in the mannequin like i did with coloring it in you're going to use a clipping mask anytime you're painting you should always use a clipping mask so you're not erasing stuff out all the time and i'm so glad i learned that you're going to I drop the color of your mannequin and then you're going to create you're gonna have a darker version of this color not too much but we're just gonna be going down the color wheel getting it darker each time and then we're gonna go lighter in the middle so we're still gonna be using the dip pen soft brush this is how I did my recent mannequin that I have right now. I know some of you are asking if you can use it, but I really feel like you should learn how to make your own mannequin. With my mannequin, I actually smudged out the colors and then um, to get it to look more blended in, I used Gaussian Blur just a little bit, but because Ibis Paint smudging tool isn't that good, we're going to actually be using the Gaussian Blur to blur everything out.
so you can notice that I'm not going anywhere near the neck because I'm doing that after I've done the face Okay, now we're gonna do the lighter shade in the middle. You can also like press down and get the color, but sometimes it doesn't work. So you can just go on the eyedropper tool that way. So make sure you're not dramatically going up the color wheel just a little bit so you, you're not taking the color like too light. just gonna go lighter three times like we did with the darker shades so it should look like that and now we're going to start blending it all out use the Gaussian blur to blur it out and I hate using Gaussian blur on Ibis it's so it's such a weird setting because you have to go back and do it again and again till it's blurred out properly. Keep doing it till you think everything's blended out nicely. So it should look like this. I'm going to make a new layer just for the highlights in the middle. I really want it to come out. I think I might do the same method for the repaint tutorial on Ibis. Just press and hold in the middle then go lighter about this big and use Gaussian blur again I'm gonna try using the smudging brush just to smudge it out further up the head just upwards and then we're gonna use Gaussian blur again All right, that should be fine. And now we're going to merge it down with the first layer of colors. And we're going to create the shape here. I'm trying to give it an actual face shape. I don't want it to just be round. So we're just going to be doing the same steps, we're going to create a layer under that one. So because if you create a layer on top of it then it's going to interfere so you just want it under it. Do the colour scheming the same. So we start off a little bit darker. This is what you do in every repaint. You go darker and darker and darker each time till it looks okay. We're gonna go lighter
Then we're going to keep blending with Gaussian Blur. Make a new layer for the highlights. Just keep going up. You can keep going darker on the sides if you want to. Now you're basically done, but I want to show you something else you could do. I think I already have it saved, but what you're going to do is just go on Google and look for a grey pole that has that is a PNG and make sure it doesn't have a background to save on here. But you're just going to drag this down underneath the mannequin and you're going to move it, use the transform tool to move it. Yeah, this is basically it. I think I have a wig that I saved on here. So this is a wig that I've made on Procreate ages ago. To be honest, I have no idea right now how to make it fit on this particular mannequin. I do have an idea on how to do it on Procreate, just not on Ibis. But once I do have an idea, I'll definitely talk about it when I'm doing my wig tutorial. But for right now, this is kind of what it will, will look like. Just don't focus on the parts that isn't actually fitting on this mannequin right now. I wish there was a liquefying tool on Ibis. That's my problem. If they were, a lot of things would be so much easier right now because this isn't cute. I couldn't find another wig that I've done to fit on this mannequin right now but pretend that this mannequin isn't shaped weird with this wig on right now but yeah I hope that this video helped you and make sure when you're saving your stuff it doesn't have a background so make sure you save it as a transparent PNG if you're gonna put backgrounds and stuff on it and things like that and if you're new to my channel and want more tutorials please subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you in my next video